Welcome to our Digital Wonder Walk at Conservatory Park, Part 1. Today, we will be exploring a hidden park in southern Manatee County. When you arrive at the park, there are two separate entrances, one off of Conservatory Drive and another off DeSoto Woods Drive. Conservatory Park is a 55-acre park that boasts a fun fitness trail, two different rentable pavilions, and environmental education activities all along a paved path. This is also a dog-friendly preserve. There are two different watering fountains for thirsty pups. Just be mindful on the time of day. In Florida's hot summers, our pups' paws can burn on the hot asphalt. Let's begin at the freshwater pond. Hidden along the cattail-lined waterways, there are plenty of ducks, fish, turtles, and even alligators to be found. Make sure not to feed the wildlife. Many human foods, like bread, can be harmful to the wild animals. Both feathered and furry wildlife flourish in this small park. Here you can find our resident rabbit population. Due to the swampy nature of the park and some of the pine woods habitat, we have both marsh rabbits and cottontail. Marsh rabbits are all brown, including their tail, with short, dumpy ears and short hair, and a stumpy body. Marsh rabbits are exclusively found near water and are avid swimmers, while cottontail rabbits are a bushier rabbit with tall ears that make them appear larger. And of course, they also have the characteristic white on their tail. Cottontails can also swim, but do not do it frequently. Continue down the trail and you will discover a world of epiphytes. Epiphytes are air plants. Plants that sit on trees like oaks and pines without harming them. In Florida, we have over 75 different varieties of epiphytes. They collect rainwater as it drips down their leaves and nutrients they collect from the air as well as from their leaves. Here we have resurrection fern, nice and green from the recent rainfall. Parasitic plants, like mistletoe, use their roots to tap into the tree's xylem, bringing water up to the tree, and phloem, bringing nutrients from the leaves to the rest of the tree. With enough mistletoe, or another parasitic plant, the whole tree could die. Please note, Spanish moss is actually an epiphyte. It is not a parasitic plant. Thank you so much for joining us on our digital wonder walk of Conservatory Park. I look forward to seeing you again on our next adventure.